What's up, YouTube? Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. A pretty good week. I uh, got a few little things that I think I'll bring some money. Um, also have some sold stuff from last week's auctions. A lot of that jewelry is all shipped out and gone now. So I'll start over here with some of the jewelry stuff. Um, sterling Silver Spoon. Paid $2 for that. It is a Reed and Barton Sterling. Uh, for another two dollars, this old uh, sterling wire uh, cuff bracelet weighs maybe 15 grams or so, maybe 20. Um, pretty nice. It's old. I'm not sure if it'll sell for 40 or 50. Um, it might only bring like 25 or something. So uh, pretty pretty cool. Uh, a small uh, sterling marcasite bracelet probably paid a dollar for that or so um, pearl sterling necklace I bought this one and this one sterling chain glass beads marked Italy um, those two were five bucks I bought this thinking it might be silver. It's certainly marked 925, but it is not silver. And I get this question a lot about how you can kind of tell the difference, so I'll just kind of show this as an example here. As you can see, this really, really looks like silver and really uh, feels like silver, doesn't stick to a magnet, um, all that sort of thing. So like, how can you tell? <clears throat> because I kind of had the idea that this wasn't going to be silver uh, before I even bought it. So here's, here's one of the things. Uh, you see this uh, style clasp right here, this kind of roll over, or it, it rolls, clips over the bar right here. Um, this is not a good thing to see on silver. You know, this is not usually what they put on silver uh, bracelets. Um, so if you see one of these style class, uh, of all the ones I've seen, just, just personally, I mean, it's not for every single case. If it has this style clasp and it is actually silver, this clasp, this little piece will be marked 925. And it's usually on the inside of, on the little bar right here, just on the inside. It'll say 925 or 925 right here. Um, and, and you usually want to see that. This one is marked just on the back. And another thing is the way the mark is. You can kind of see, it's going to be hard to focus, but that mark is kind of like rubbed over. It's not really a, um, a clean, clean mark, right? This thing is new. It, it should have a very nice hallmark, nice stampings, probably someone's name, you know, all those things if it was silver. So, because um, it's fairly uh, heavy. So those kind of things just uh, let me know that it's probably not silver. I go ahead and scratch this down on a test stone, drop some acid on it, and uh, the line completely disappeared. So that means it's not silver. It's definitely uh, like brass and plated. So there's your tip on on silver, like versus something more like this, which is more common on silver, is the uh, the end pieces here. Maybe kind of hard to see. See these um, end pieces? That's more indicative of something that's silver versus um, a clasp that's kind of a little more cheap, you know? Okay. Moving on after your little lecture there. Um, this is sterling silver, gold plated. It's a little piece of jade um, and a dragon. I paid, you know, a dollar for this. It's probably worth 15 or so. Um, 50 cents for this. It's a little piece of jade. A uh, little tribal necklace from Afghanistan, most likely, or, um, you know, Eastern. Okay, so I got this grouping of little um, gold-filled fraternity uh, pieces. 
And I paid two dollars for all of these. This one's 1963. This little one here. Um, this is a nice little dial. It says uh, Beta Omnicon. I'm guessing. It's another Greek letter. This one, I'm not sure. It's kind of hard to see. And then it says something in the inscription below. That's gold filled. Some kind of um, fraternity thing. Uh, but this one's probably the best. It's a little enamel and seed pearl. Um, I know Beta Sigma, but I don't know what the I is. I forget. Um, someone could probably tell me. But that one's got some hallmarks on it. Um, it might be 10 carat. If it's 10 carat, it's probably worth uh, right around 35, 40 bucks. Uh, people are actually paying up for those, so um, good deal there. Some silver rings. Um, really nothing special. A little silver um, locket box, whatever. Um, that is plated, that's costume. I bought this little um, bead. It's just some beads. They're pretty nice. They're glass. Uh, I've been doing well with some nicer beads, so I figured I'd pick some more up. Uh, I got this. Very nice gold wash, silver. Um, probably CZ or possibly small diamonds. I doubt it. Uh, this is Mark 925. Nice butterfly pin. I mean, that's like 20 bucks at least. Here's another ring that's plated. Um, then I bought this ring. It was all dirty and stuff. I already cleaned it up. Um, for five bucks, it's marked with a B right there. And it's silver. And uh, I think my mom is going to take this one. So it uh, looks really nice, right? Might as well pick that up for five bucks. Um, here's another plated ring. And I got this with a lot of the rings just kind of thrown in. It's a Fenton. Got a little Fenton mark. Green slag glass um, ring holder, so that's kind of nice. Uh, some sterling salt and pepper shakers, sterling tops, uh, two dollars for the set of those. Um, roughly three to four to five grams of sterling per top. Um, that gives you a value of maybe eight dollars total. So I'll make a little bit. Uh, what else? Okay, so I got this box of tools. I just needed some extra screwdrivers. Um, a pair of needle nose pliers. Those were a buck a piece. And then there's six uh, sockets in here. And those were two dollars a piece and those are snap-on. So I paid 15 I believe for the for the whole box. I got a little discount. Um, so there's six of those snap-on sockets. I always pick those up of course. Uh, I got this. This is kind of cool. This is a sample for the Matrix stunt team. And then you have little added patches for their next movies. These are probably before these movies even came out. Um, Reloaded and Revolutions. Uh, this is definitely like a sample one um, that they would submit, you know, and say like, oh, do you like this design or whatever. You can see here it's kind of messed up a little bit. It seems like, and then you've got the uh, strings in between. But... It's kind of cool. It says uh, Matrix right there. I don't know if anyone would uh, buy this. I don't know how much like value it has. Um, but this was really just, just one of the things that was in here. There's a bunch of samples. I mean, like this guy had a some sort of a, a patch business, you know. So you'll see a lot of local... Um, patches here. Um, meadows, there's a lot that say like, you know, Newport Beach, California. These are all like samples um, for businesses. There's a bunch of these, uh, these two. Um, LA County Fire Department sample. You know, I don't know. It's not really a patch, you know, because it's like, it's just the sample. A lot of them have like notes on them about how, you know, the size and the color and whatever. Um, but there's a bunch of these. So, I don't know if somebody would, would collect this, you know, kind of like this, because 
Um, this may be an actual patch, you know, that like they wear on their uniforms. And this is the sample for that. So maybe someone would want it. You know, I'm not I'm not even really sure, but there's a lot in here. Here's um Muldoon's Irish pub in Newport Beach. There's a bunch of those in here, a bunch of Muldoon's stuff. You know, and if if like nobody wants none nobody wants this stuff. If I'm in Newport Beach, I'll just go into the bar and give this to them. But there's the Oasis, Irvine, California. There's like a bunch of uh, other companies. There's a couple other patches in here that I thought were neat. There's uh, Masters of Business. There's nothing too great in here. Here's like for the Monarch Beach Club uh, maintenance. Oh, what else? See, there's like Los Angeles County Lifeguard. Like, that's pretty cool. That's probably one that they used, um, Peninsula Yacht, um, like this one's kind of cool, Pike Golf, you know, I guess that's, um, Pi Kappa Alpha, maybe, yeah, Pikes, Pike Golf, my friend's actually a Pike, I wonder if he wants that, I'll keep that, um, but there was like, there's like a Lexus dealership one, or, uh, you know, just like different, test patches I don't know if anyone if these have any value five bucks I paid for the whole box so it's kinda cool the matrix one I don't know is that is that a movie memorabilia at all I mean does it have any more value than like say a ten dollar patch or something you know um, I'm not sure anyway that's the patches last thing I bought two helmets um, both, I believe, to be Vietnam War era. They have the covers. Um, you can see the little slits for uh, camouflage, like sticking your leaves and stuff in there. Uh, it probably had a, a headband, I'm guessing, that went around as well. That, that's the only thing that's gone. But very nice on the inside. This leather band is really nice. Um, I haven't really done all of the research on these because they, they are marked. I mean, there's like little markings on the uh, the brim there's little markings all over the place on the straps you know it's like L-O-T or L-D-T or something um, so these both have liners and then the shells and the covers both of these were just sitting in the driveway at somebody's house let me kind of show you the outside so there's that one it's pretty nice condition I paid 10 bucks for both of them I mean really nobody nobody even bothered with them and these things are really cool so here's another one here's the other one um, this one's got someone's name in it it's also got like you know property of the Navy and some kind of like kids writing or something um, and then you can see the outside of this one they have a they're a little bit different um, color. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, this one's kind of got this like uh, wrinkle paint, and this one's a little bit different. So I'm not. Oh, sorry. I'm not really sure what that really means, but both nice helmet liners and shells and covers for both of them. Um, you know, the prices are all over, but you know, like fifty to seventy-five to a hundred each. So, um, those were a good score. I think they're really awesome. They'll sell, no problem. Military stuff's easy. So that's what I got this week. If you like my videos, please leave a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back with some sold stuff in a minute, and we'll take a look at that 